TradingVideos.com, you're here with Breakout Trader for the Morning Report, Friday, February 27th, 2009. Not the gr best open this morning, we're down 8.5 points right now, 1.13%. Slight improvement from about 10 minutes ago, we were down just over 10 points. Uh, we got the YM down 75, 1.04, NASDAQ down 10.25, this is better, it's down 0.9%. So we're seeing uh, Nasdaq's not selling off as much as the Dow or the S&P. That is a good thing. Oil has uh, rolled over here, down $1.67 due to U.S. demand uh, protracting. Gasoline, $1.25 down 4 pennies. And we have gold on the upside. It's recaptured at 950 mark, which is a support area. Okay, IBM's down, Chevron and Exxon are down, and we have our gold ETF up. Let's have a look at the chart on the ES Daily. This is where we're currently trading, 7.42 right now, 7.43. You see this is our November low, this is our support. We need to stay above that to survive. Okay, we may... What is common down in these areas is have a huge down day with a big push up late in the afternoon. And that gives us a big, big hammer kennel at that support. That's what we call capitulation. So that is also something on the books that could take place. Uh, we can also see we've come down to the low. We popped back up. We've come back down. So if we can pop and hold this support, there's that W formation for winner. Okay, that gets back. That could get us back in that 800 area, um, depending on the strength here. If we can get a big day up, a big big day up, we'll have shorts covering like crazy, and we'll have the potential of all that money, trillions and trillions of dollars sitting on the sideline right now in cash, to start to come into the market. That'll give some people some confidence, and they'll think they're starting to miss out, and they'll start to buy with new new cash, new money. And that's what this market needs to go up. In these last couple of days here, okay, we've had the opportunity. I mean, we, we were up above the previous day's high right here, and we were sold into. Then we had big solid day up here, okay, right up to that resistance again, and sold into. Okay, yesterday the transport got hammered in the morning. And once the transport started to turn around and go back up in the afternoon, then the banks got hammered in the afternoon. So we need all those sectors and all the uh, market internals to be working together to get this market to move to the upside. And I've stated those all those sectors and market internals for the last couple of days. So if you're not too sure what I'm talking about, just review the last couple of videos and you'll know all about it. All right, news. Nasdaq.com. All right, we have the big one this morning, GDP, 830, um, Chicago Report 945, Consumer Sentiment 955, and then we have a bunch of people speaking through the day. So GDP will be interesting. Let's see what the consensus is between, wow, what a wide <laughs> wide range, negative 6.1 to negative 3.8. Okay, uh, looking at for negative 5.4. Real GDP with the price index, quarter over quarter, looking for a negative 0.1. So we will see what takes place right there. All right, traders, you have a fantastic weekend. I'm going to have a great one. Have a great and successful trading day, and I will talk to you on Monday.